Hey guys, this is V and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you my DIY furniture and what I store in it. You remember in the past, I told you guys that the drawer in the bottom, I built it. So this is what my framework is looking like. I told you the legs was built out of fence posts and part of the uh, on the inside to put the legs down. This is the color of the inside. I used part of a bed pose. The picture that I just showed you, that was the color I painted it to add the mold into it. As you see, I have it is glass now, and that's an antique finish that I did myself. And I did um, a, a design on the front of it, mimicking what was there before. So now let's go ahead and tile inside of the cabinet how I'm going to store the dishes these are some of the dishes that came out that was in the cabinet for a while and I want to put them back so these plates here I got them from Hobby Lobby these Christmas plates here got them from Walmart the black plates are from the Dollar Tree and the black and white is from Hobby Lobby so I want to put them in here but this is how I like storing my dishes the plates, I put the amount that could fit there, plus I put a divider when I go to uh, another another um, style of plates. So this is how the piece is looking, and I am so proud that to take trash and make treasure. So this is how I like storing the dishes, and I got my plate racks from the Dollar Tree so I'm going to eventually put the bowls in there these black and white plates came from Family Dollar and this is how everything is coming together but my bowls I want my bowls to sit up the way that the other stuff is sitting up and I'm showing you the white plates because I'm about to cut a divider and put in between it. I'm using these cardboard rounds that I cut out. And when it's another style of plate, then I cushion it with that. So once I have to take them out, the plate is not dragging on the other one. It'll be very easy for me to remove it. So as you see, once I start another style, I put the cardboard around it and I just use a knife or uh, scissors and cut around the edge that I need and put my stuff in place so so far so good and the bowls are not sitting up the way that I like them even though I have the draw liner so I am going to take one of the plate racks and cut it so it could fit the bowls. So this is the one that I cut. I cut out each, well, every other one. And these are the pieces that I cut away from it. And my bowls will sit up like I wanted them to. And this plate rack is from the Dollar Tree also. And when you can't find what you want, honey, you gotta make it. So I use my snippers and cut it off. So this is how it looks. It's a little bit flimsy, but it will do for now. So I think that I've got it together a bit. I still have a little bit more space to go inside of the door of the cabinet. But then I'm going to show you inside of the both drawers and the bottom drawer that I built. So this is the bottom drawer that I built. This piece of furniture was sitting on the floor, had no legs to it. It was an office piece of furniture like I told you guys. So what I did was I built the drawer out of scrap wood and I lined the draw after so we're gonna do a little mini haul I'm gonna show you some of these dishes here that I got from this store called Fred's 
and this is the way they look that salad look yummy right just get some balsamic balsamic vinegar dressing and that's a party in your mouth so I usually put my chargers in the bottom because I made it so it could fit large well round chargers I know I wanted it to fit that so I sort of built the drawer around the chargers so I still have more room that I could put more things the bottom drawers of much deeper than the top drawer I am going to put some spoons and stuff in there I am actually gonna put my serving spoon that's where I usually keep my serving spoons and in the bottom I usually use it for napkins or even glasses so it's not much but well let me take that back it's a lot it's storage and storage is always good so guys if you like what I'm doing here please like subscribe and share share the video with a friend I will absolutely love to grow this channel and to get what I do out to others